Hi, my name is Mackendra. I'm a small business owner. I crochet a bunch of things and I, today's video is basically for me to teach you guys how to crochet a granny square if you're a beginner. I do a lot of TikToks and not a lot I should say but I've done a couple of TikToks and some of you guys have asked how to have a slower down version of me crocheting a granny square. So that's kind of what I'm going to do today. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys my way of how to crochet a granny square. Um, it's beginner friendly, so it's easy to follow. And if you're thinking, what can I make with a granny square? There's actually a ton of things that you can make. I've made blankets. I've made cardigans. I've made, um, what else have I made? Scarves. I mean, there's a ton that you could do. They're super fun. You can play around with the colors um, and you can make multiple things out of them. So I thought I'd go ahead and show you guys a beginner friendly tutorial on how to do that today. And we can go ahead and get started with that. If you guys do like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. So then I know that you like it and I start making more videos like this as well. This is my first video, so I hope you guys really do enjoy it. Um, and also leave some comments down in the comment section for me if you'd like me to focus on some other topics or if there's certain stitches that you'd like to learn. Um, I'd be happy to look over those and go ahead and get started on making them for you guys. But I hope you guys enjoy. Um, I'll catch you guys on the flip. Okay, so first and foremost, you're going to go ahead and pick out your yarn and also the hook size that you're going to be using. I have a size 4 weight yarn and how to determine the weight of your yarn when you're buying it when you first get it at the store, Michaels, Joann's, wherever you go, is on the back of it, you're going to see a size right here. So this one is a size medium for yarn and it recommends for you to use a 6 millimeter size hook or a J hook. Right now, I'm just showing you in terms of how to understand the weight of your yarn and where what it is. Um, this one, for instance, is an acrylic. So that's how you would determine like a size yarn. However, it doesn't matter when you're making a granny square of what size yarn you use or even what size hook you're going to be using. So you can use any weight yarn and any size hook and it'll all be, turn out to be the same. For me, for instance, I'm going to go ahead and use a size 6 hook, the J. Um, the only reason why I'm going to be using a bigger hook today is because I want to be able to show you guys thoroughly of what I'm doing. The bigger the hook size, the bigger the spacing in between all of your um, double crochets or single crochets would be. So for just the sake of this video, I'm going to go ahead and use a bigger size hook to be able to show you guys how to accurately be able to do a granny square. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to do is a slip knot. And you're going to want to leave a little bit of a tail so that way you'll be able to sew it in. So I'm going to grab like, you know, I'll do just about this much just to show you guys. To create a slip knot, you're going to go ahead and place the working yarn, the tail on your right end, and the working yarn on the, your left hand. You're gonna place that tail end over and create this X like so. And then you're gonna push the tail yarn through your two fingers and just pull through just like so. So I'll do that one more time for you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and take the yarn, the tail yarn. I'm gonna grab my left hand with the working yarn. I'm gonna wrap this all the way around like so. I'm gonna create that X. And I'm gonna push this yarn, the tail yarn, underneath the working yarn. Take my two fingers out, push that yarn through and pull to tighten. Okay, so now that you've got your slip stitch, it should look something like this. And you have your tail and you have your working yarn on this end. You're going to take your hook and you're going to go ahead and insert it into this hole right here. And just tighten just a little bit, not too much. You want to be able to loosely go through the hook like that. Okay. Now what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and wrap your yarn around your hook. And hold onto the knot down here. You don't want it to tighten. You don't want to pull this string to tighten it. And you don't want to pull this one to tighten it. Because again, you want the yarn to be able to go in here loosely. So what I do is I go ahead and hold this knot down here that we created. I'll go around my hook like so. And I'm going to pull through. And you've created the first stitch. 
Now again, I'm gonna go around and pull through and I created another one. So we have two stitches right here so far. And all I've been doing is been holding the knot to not be able to tighten any of these. So now I'm gonna go ahead and create two more going around. So now I have four of these stitches. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wanna create this circle to be able to go ahead and crochet and work into it. So I have my four stitches here. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go from the fourth chain from the hook and I'm gonna insert and slip stitch. So we have our one right here, two, three, four. So now that we have found our first stitch at the end where this knot is, we're going ahead and insert our hook like so. We're gonna pull it through. Now we'll go ahead and pull through that yarn and now if you pull open your yarn here, you'll see that you have a circle now. Now that part is finished, that is the first step. We're gonna go ahead and chain two. All right, now we're gonna try to find, oop, I tightened it too much, oops. We're gonna find this hole right here. And we're going to go ahead and half double crochet into this hole. If you don't know how to half double crochet, what you do is you put the yarn over the hook. You find that hole in the middle. You push it through. You pull through the middle here. And you're going to pull through. So you should have three loops on your on your crochet hook now. You're gonna pull through all three of those with the working yarn that you have. That is how you do a half double crochet. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and do an, I'm gonna do one more for this side, that, that side piece that we've made. I'm gonna go ahead and put my yarn over. I'm gonna push it through that hole once more. And I'm gonna pull through with working yarn. I should have three loops on my crochet hook, yarn over, pull through all three of these. Okay, and from here, now that we have our three, we're gonna go ahead and chain one. From here, I'm gonna go into the same hole with three more half double crochets. I'm gonna have you guys chain one, do three more half double crochets. So now that you can see, it might be a little harder to tell on mine, I should have done two, but I have my two chains right here. So what that indicates is that those are gonna be corners see where there's that with chain one that we did right there and then the chain one right here i'm going to go ahead and chain one again after i finish those three i'm going to half double crochet three more okay now i've created another corner with that chain one i'm going to go ahead and chain one more right there now this can be the trickier part okay so i really want you guys to understand this this is our chain two right here. So we have our chain one right there and we have our chain two right here. I want you to go ahead after you've chained one on your working part and I want you to insert your hook into that second chain up that you did. And now once you've got that in there, you're gonna go ahead and yarn over, pull through and you're going to slip stitch, pull through that one stitch. Now you have started making your chains or your granny square. I'm gonna just go ahead and give this a little tug on the tail end of the yarn. Tug that to close the middle of the circle up right there. Now go ahead and chain two. After you've chained two, you're gonna see that there's a hole right here. So now that you see that you've created this hole for a corner, you're gonna go ahead and go into that hole. So where you had your chain one before you made the slip stitch here, you chained one to connect the yarns. 
So what you're going to do is you're going to go in with three, I mean two half double crochet. Because remember, this chain two is acting as one half double crochet. So there's one. And there's two. All right. And now we're going to try to find our next hole, which is right here where we made that other chain. Right here. So we're going to yarn over. We're not going to chain. We're not going to do anything like that. We're going to go straight into that next hole and we're going to half double crochet three. Once we have our three half double crochet right here, I want you to chain two. Yarn over three more in the same hole that you just half double crocheted in. So we're going to do three more half double crochet in the same stitch. Next, we'll go straight into the next hole right there. Half double crochet three. Chain two, half double crochet three more into the same stitch. Straight into the next one. You might have to stretch it out a little bit after, as you're going. Now we're going to be coming up on that beginning piece once more where we've already done the three. But now we need to finish it off and we have to add three more into there and chain two. So we're going to go straight into that stitch where we started. Chain, sorry, half double crochet three. Chain two. And now we're going to find again the second chain up that we made. So here's, sorry if you can't see, there's one right here, then there's two right there. So we're gonna put, insert our crochet hook into that second stitch, pull through, Ooh. slip stitch, chain two, and we're gonna continue the process, but now you can see we have stitches in between corners now. Three, four. So it should be looking a little bit like this. Again, we're going to need to put three stitches right here in this corner to begin with. So what we'll do is three half double crochet, or two more half double crochets, because this is acting as one stitch. So we need two half double crochets. No chains. Now we're going to go into that middle stitch that I just showed you guys that we find we have in between corners now. Yarn over, three half double crochets in there. Now we're going to go into our next corner. We'll do three half double crochets, chain two, three half double crochets. Perfect, now we have our new corner. We're gonna go into that middle stitch in between the corners now, yarn over, three half double crochet. Next corner, three half double crochets, chain two, three half double crochets. Middle one, one, two, three, next corner, last middle piece. Okay, now we're coming up on our beginning stitches into this first corner here we're going to go ahead and put our three half double crochet chain two and we'll slip stitch at the top of the second stitch up here awesome i like to give it a little stretch here and there it is acrylic yarn so it's easily 
Blah, blah, blah. It should be looking a little bit like this now. And what has happened since then is that we've increased. We've added two in between corners now instead of the one down here. So on every single side, you'll have two more in the center that you, one more extra and two in between corners now. So you'll have to make sure that you're putting your three half double crochet in there. So again, to start off our row, we're gonna chain up two, one, two, three half double crochets in the first corner, two, sorry, two half double crochets, because the chain two acts as what? A stitch. We're gonna go into the first center piece here, three half double crochet, straight into the next hole here, three half double crochet, perfect. Our second corner here, three half double crochet, chain two, three half double crochet into the same stitch. Same as all of the other corners. All right, now that you have your first side done, I will meet you guys back at the beginning here and be able to go ahead and close this off with you guys. But we are almost done with our granny square. I will be right back. Okay, now that I have finished the other two sides here, I'm gonna go ahead and put my last three half double crochet in this top corner here. chain two and slip stitch into this top corner to finish this off I'm gonna go ahead and just chain one tighten that a little bit here I'm gonna take my scissors and leave a little bit of space and pull this guy through and tighten it up as much as I can. So here is the finished look of a granny square. You can most definitely make these bigger by using the same method I just taught. Um, you would just go on and you would have three in the middle of each of your corners now and so on and so forth. So three, then there'll be four and then five, so on and so forth. Um, from there, you can make it into a blanket, a cardigan, a scarf, anything your heart desires, honestly. Granny squares are super awesome for beginners, and they're super quick, too, so it's not um, a time-consuming task. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to sew these into the back pieces, and um, that would be the end of this video. Okay, I just went ahead and grabbed my darning, ne my darning needle here. Um, this is what it looks like. I'm going to go ahead and start with doing the top one really quickly since we just um, tied it off. So what you're going to do is you're just going to take the end of this piece and push it through. There you are. And then we're going to work in, into the back side here. So what I like to do is I like to weave in and out of each of my stitches. So there's that one stitch. I'm going to go over a second one. Go in over and in so then it creates it looks like this i'm going to pull this yarn through here really quickly and make sure i'm tightening that knot up there as well at the same time what i'm going to do is i'm going to go under into the opposite stitch i hadn't gone through yet under the other one and in like so, and I just do this a couple of times until I think it is secured pretty good in there, and I'll probably go a different way. Like so. And once more in this way. Like so. Perfect. And I would probably just leave it at that. And cut off the excess. 
I'm going to do the same thing for this center piece that we had for the tail. That's why I asked you guys to leave a little bit of space or a little bit more extra to be able to push it all through. Same thing, I'm going to go ahead and push the yarn through the needle. Pull it through. And what I like to do for the middle one is I like to actually go into it. So I'm going to go ahead and go into the circle like so. Perfect. And I like to go different ways so it's harder for the yarn to come loose. Take my needle out and I will just go ahead and cut off the excess here. All right, and that is how you create a granny square. I hope this video was super helpful and if you have any questions, um, go ahead and leave them down in the comments and I'll try to get to them as best as I can. Hopefully this was super easy to follow. Um, and if you have any pointers or if you're a crocheter yourself and would like to implement some other thoughts, I would be more than happy to look at those um, and go ahead and make another video if needed. But I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial on how to make a granny square. Um, and I hope you guys have a beautiful day. Thanks for watching.